All right, it has come down to this. The final part of a game that I did not expect to even finish. I wasn't even going to play this game. And after that first video, I got like, I was sick. I was like, I don't know about this game. I don't know if I want to play that anymore. But kind of just muscled through it. I, I don't know. It is definitely an odd game. And I'm glad I finished it. But it also, I don't know what the ending is like. Like, I literally sat through the ending and I was like, I need a lore video, like, right now. <laughs> like, I need some lore behind everything, because I don't know what's going on. But, anyways, I'll like support. Greatly appreciated. I know it's an unsettling game, but I really appreciate you joining me on something kind of different. Because this is definitely, like, a test of how scary of a game can we play on this channel after all these years. So, might be the most crazy horror game I've ever played on my channel. And that's, I've played a lot of them. A lot. So, love you all, best audience ever. Kind of cool to see this last video do well. I think the next horror game after this is like Callisto Protocol. Then we got Dead Space Remake. And the Resident Evil 4 Remake, I believe. Unless there's one I'm missing. There might be. I don't know. All right. Love you all. Let's go ahead and jump in. What is this? Will it break some of it off, I wonder? <laughs> Yikes. Holy. I'm taking damage over time, it's not good. Just grows right back. That's crazy. I thought that's like what I was supposed to do for a minute. Uh all right. It's like you gotta quickly do it. Yeah, yeah. You gotta work quickly. It's gonna grow back here in a minute. Hey. Yeah, it's just gonna keep growing back. That is wild. Okay, well, there's ammo there, which is nice. What in the world? That's unexpected. I like how you don't you don't actually reload this, so you have to do that. We're taking damage because of that too, which I don't. Well, this can I even interact with this? Okay, I can. How many did we get here? Looks like it'd be a lot, right? Four. I'll take it. That boss fight was tough, man. When you didn't really know, like, know what was going to happen, it was, uh, definitely kind of nerve-wracking. <laughs> There's another one there, too. Interesting. They want to give you plenty of ammo, so that's what's already opened. Already came through here. This is the thing that's going to cause us to bleed, but is there anything else I can interact with? What does this do? You need to upgrade... Yeah, so I can tell we're getting, like, pretty far into the game based off of that. Like, the keys being higher, you know? Alright, we're gonna have to hustle. Here's what we do. We do this and we run to this little... Well, I mean, can we? Hold on. It grows back so fast. Uh... Straight across, straight through, and then hurry, hurry, hurry. Alright, here we go. I'm going to take damage here. I don't know if that's like this thing on me screaming or what. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go, come on. No! Ah, oh, so close. That was as fast as I could go. I didn't have enough time. Man. Yeah, I can't interact with this. It's like I had the right idea, right? Hmm.
Well, that's no bueno. Uh... I'm just gonna start shooting stuff really quick. <laughs> just shoot it all over the place. Unlimited ammo right here, so it really doesn't matter. And of course, I can't interact with it because I need to actually hurt myself first. All right. I. I like how there's no way around this. Really. Like, I essentially have to just do this every single time, which... Yeah, there's no way around it. Yeah, that's where it stops. If only I could... I do feel like... Yeah, this is the main little platform. This is just open it back up to go to the other section, which I don't quite need that. But I think I might... That might be the only way. I don't have the upgrade for this yet, so I couldn't really go out there or whatever. So, let's see. Only thing I think to do is we've already destroyed that. Whatever that is. Yeah, we've already been down through there, so... Did that, came through here, more ammo, hurt itself, went through here, this opened up. Got this open. And then when we stepped here. Ah, okay. From the parking lot. Well, this is gonna be kind of tough. It's like waiting for traffic to pass by. Uh. Hey, let's go. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Can't do anything. So I okay. We gotta we gotta be quick here. I there's no way I can do this. There's no there's not enough time. Well no, that's it right there. Yep. This has to be the right amount of time, right? There we go. You don't like blood, you're playing the wrong game. That's all I know. Got it just in time. Alright. If we gotta do that for the rest of the game, that's gonna suck. I want more ammo, but I also don't wanna I don't wanna do all that again. We got that and we can go straight across. Yeah, I think this will be enough time. Here we go. I might do this twice actually. Oh, actually, no, I won't. I was gonna do it twice to get more ammo, but I don't think I will. I got three. I don't think the game's gonna put me in a scenario where I can't get more. There we go. Woo! Barely made it. This looks like something I'm about to do to myself. Wait, why are we coming through here? All 
All right, so here's what I think we got to do. Do it again, but this time we're running straight to that little chair thing. And hopefully that gets us off of us. Which I don't know how that's going to feel. I just know it's probably not going to feel good at all. All right, full sprint. Let's go. W key. Tuck the weapon away. Run, run faster. I don't know. This is like, yeah, this is the only thing I think to do. Oh my god. It's like growing inside me. Uh, what? I don't want to do this at all, man. Oh, it's like... Wait, what? Okay, I feel like this is about to be crazy. have my weapons I don't have anything like a reset kind of thing. I don't know what's about to happen, but I just know that I don't know where this game would go after this. You know? I feel like this character's been through a lot already. We had a pretty epic boss fight. We just had that thing get removed from us finally, but we're like in one piece, barely. All of our weapons are gone. I'm limping. We got the last little canister thing for that whatever it is. We're headed back up to the top slowly. I do feel like the game kind of held on to that whole, like, thing transforming you for a long time for it to just be a thing that just goes away all of a sudden. Like, it held on to it for quite a minute, so. Alright, this should be the other one. <laughs> it, I like how this whole thing has just been to get these two things to work. And we are, like, we've been through the ringer just trying to get this. Alright, here we go. <laughs> we got the second one final. Let's go, baby. Uh... 
Oh boy. Switch, what does that mean? Wait, what? It's like you're plugged into that whole thing. I wonder what's up here. Okay, that doesn't work. I'm assuming I just gotta interact with, uh... This. It's gonna be allowed on YouTube. We'll see. So the achievements we've got so far, it's all leading up to the... I don't know how many we've gotten, actually. We've gotten a lot of them. The Switch thing, I don't quite know what... Maybe the... Oh, wait. No? Okay. Space bar, okay. That is not a space bar, that's all I know. That is odd. So I think one of us has to stand. Let me move back this way. Hold on. What can I do here?
pulls back up. All right, so I need... I'm gonna stand right here. God, this game has so much blood in it. <laughs> it's actually insane. We got private parts, there's all these sexual images. This is crazy out here. Not for the fate of hearts! Here's what I'm thinking. That gets them to stand there on the heavy plates. And this should do it. I should be able to walk past, right? I think. No! I think once, hold on, once I... Well, now I'm torn, I don't know, like... Make any sense? I guess I switch afterwards. I should have time enough to walk through it, I would imagine. I like how even the last bit is a puzzle. What are we walking into? Look above us. Like walking into a... Another dimension or something, or like a black hole type thing, I don't know. Okay, see how it is. Ouch.
Wow. That was the end of the game. So just that, that's it. I that's insane. So I'm wondering I'm almost like speechless. There's no credits. I mean there's credits here, but what happens if I continue? It might be the same thing. It might it might just take me back to right like the very end. Cause that was definitely the end of the game. I just don't know. <laughs> I'm just so it just happened so fast. Yeah, same thing. Let's go back to the main menu. That's weird. It doesn't even have credits or anything. It just puts you back like start over with it. I'll run credits anyways. I'll do it manually this time. All right. Well, that was it. I don't know how this is gonna go. I have no idea because as much as I enjoyed the game for what it was, it was a brutal experience. Not for the faint of hearts. Uh, one of the probably like just hard to play games I've ever played in a, in a good way, I guess. You know, I have over 7,000 videos on this channel. A lot of horror games, a lot of, uh, you know, dead space, amnesia, Stuff that just randomly pops up like the medium. Popular stuff like the Resident Evil games. Um, Silent Hill Downpour was another one I played. A lot of horror stuff over the years. Um, the Dark Pictures Anthology. A lot of that stuff. Nothing was as uncomfortable as this game, I feel like. And I don't know if that says a lot about the game or what, but man, it just... Every time I had to reload, I wasn't looking forward to seeing it. Every time I had to heal, same thing. The combat was definitely tough. It kind of reminded me of Silent Hill 2 where the combat just is not good. And like a way where it's... Uh, that's what's iconic about those games. That the combat is just tough. This one I felt like... I mean, it could have been a little longer, but I don't know what they would have done. I, I, I kind of need like a lore video right now. Uh, did I enjoy it? I think I did. I think I, I honestly did. It was a short game. It said six to eight hours, but I had about three and a half, and I'm on the last session, which I, I'm at two hours and 20 minutes of talking right now. I haven't moved out of this chair, which I usually I usually stand up and play, but I knew I was going to be in it for a long time, but finished it at two in the morning. Um, yeah, odd game. Odd game. I feel like there's a lot of symbolism for stuff that maybe... I don't know. I just, I guess I wasn't really expecting what it was. I thought it was like a Doom type game, but from the, from the jump, there was like that uncomfortable feeling of I'm doing this puzzle and there's like this alien, I'm trying to get him out of this thing and wind up, you know, kill him or whatever. I didn't know that. Um, I'm not sure if there's different endings or not, but you kind of, it's like, I'm guessing you're like linked to some system because it's like your head was attached to something in the, in the sky, or not the sky, but like the top of the building or whatever it was we were in. Or object. I felt like the entire game. Now I could tell I was getting to like a final area once I took that long like rail ride or whatever it was to get to that open area. Hey, it's Jacob Colburn. <laughs> Somebody with my last name. It's kind of crazy. I I never see my last name anywhere. I don't know who that is by the way. I'm just you don't actually see your name a lot. I'm guessing these are like people that kind of helped fund the game because I'm seeing like usernames. I'm seeing. Yeah, guest, well, the numbers, Let's Play, Charities, YouTube, people that help fund it. I don't, I don't know. I'm glad I finished this game. A horror game in October is different from a horror game in January or whenever. I'll be playing the Cluster Protocol in December, most likely. Dead Space in January. Resident Evil 4 in whenever that comes out. March or April, I have no idea. I'm hoping that none of that stuff gets delayed, but... Um, Overall, the game was good. I, I liked that it didn't overstay its welcome. It had that one freaky area with that large thing. I felt like you. it was a lot of just uncomfortable moments in this game. The combat was fine. It, was, it wasn't bad. It wasn't, wasn't the best either. Like the movement, there's no crouching, there's no anything like that. But I felt like for what it was, I enjoyed it. I'm glad I played it. I don't know if I would play it again, but... That's mainly because I feel like I got all the achievements for it. Because I, if you notice, all the achievements, all the achievements, all the achievements were like, I don't know. It's like they were just in order. I don't know if they're trying to like keep it a secret or what, but 
I enjoyed the game for what it was. I think that a lot of people that maybe play it might get a little uncomfortable. Uh, some of the imagery is also very... I wouldn't say... I would not be surprised if some of my videos get hit for different stuff for like just the amount of sheer blood that was on the screen at one time. I'm, I'm t Every time I see that in games, I'm like, man, I wish I could, like, if I could turn it off at least or something, but no, there's no way around it. It's just, it is what it is. This game's just how it is. Glad I played it, though. But yeah, definitely one of the more, like, just violent type games I've seen. And it wasn't like, like, every time you had to do something, it was just like, oh no, what's about to happen to your body next? You know, it's just kind of one of those things. But so the very end of the game, we'll try to like break it down ourselves. I'm recording this ending. Um, before I accident I don't see any lore videos. Reviews seem to be fine for it. A lot of people kind of said the same thing I said, where it's like uncomfortable sometimes. Not it's not really scary. I do wonder why it's called scorn. I don't know what like maybe look up the definition of scorn really quick. Because I'm curious. Scorn definition. I'm just curious what. All right, the feeling or belief that someone or something is worthless or despicable, contempt, that doesn't, that can't be right. I thought it meant like an alien type thing. Hold on, let me look at this up. Uh, scorn alien definition, let's try that. Scorn or former, no, that's something else. Alien species, hold on. Even after scorn or killed, they may reanimate again via the process Although they deteriorate both physically and mentally with each resurrection. Huh. So that's, maybe that's kind of what this is. At the very end, you're, so... I, I thought for a minute we were about to go into some portal, and right before we get there, we almost make it. And it's like, boom. It just takes us, it, we're like, trapped on that thing, it grabs us again, it's like the relapse, it cuts through us. And all of a sudden, we're transformed into whatever this big thing is. And it looked like, after seeing it, it's just like the, the like the menu. The person, like, hugging you, kind of. That's, that's what it is at the beginning. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I would feel weird trying to break it down, like, what I thought happened. I just know at the very end. I would like to know about the planet's. The different types of creatures, how they're formed, the big enemy in the middle, which wasn't even an enemy. It's just part of a puzzle that would kind of follow you around with its face. I want to know more about that one. Uh, the alien in the beginning. The puzzles and the mechanics, why they are the same way. Like, the puzzle design was, I, I gotta say this right now. Puzzle design, excellent. Top notch. That really pushed the game, I felt like, for me. it And it's weird because I thought I was going to struggle on a lot of the stuff, but it... After a while, it just made sense. Like, the only part of the game I got really lost was, uh... Whatever that big enemy was... Or not enemy, but the big, like, puzzle guy was, like, following us around with his face. I didn't know where I was half the time. I was like, oh, we're going through, we gotta get this key. The part at the end where you're kind of, like, cutting your own hand to try to, like, save it. I kind of figured we're getting closer to the end of the game. I didn't realize, like, those last few achievements or whatever for Steam popped up, like, one after another. And when I saw the giant cutscene, I was like, oh yeah, that's the end of the game. So, um, yeah, I don't know how to really, like, break down what... So, the pros of this game, the puzzle system's really good. Doesn't overstay its welcome. The combat is really, really nice as far as, like, the weapon selection and stuff. Because you get three different weapons. You got... Well, first you got the... You got the thing that just, like, you use for puzzles. But you can also use, like, an air gun kind of thing. But it projects a little bit, too. But it comes like a retractor type thing. Then you had, like, what I consider the shotgun, but then you had the other thing that's like a full blast shotgun. I don't know what that is, like a double barrel type thing. Then you had the grenade launcher at the end, which you didn't... After you got the grenade launcher, you were stuck with it. That was it. Like, you upgraded all of your stuff for that, and then you just got rid of all your weapons. You didn't have a lot of time with it. Uh, for what the combat was, the boss fight was really well done. But, you know, the thing after the boss fight was uncomfortable as well. The whole thing just... It just was, uh... Having to squish the little thing in the two I don't know I was like come on man like do we have to do this but it is what it is all right that's it for now let's see can I yeah so like when you go to do a brand new game it's just like this goes over it I'm just curious if I get a load game I wonder let's see 
Act 4. Act f yeah, so Act 5, Act 4, Act 3, 2, 2, 2, 1, 1, 2, yeah. So it's... Act 5 was the longest, because it was us going there. That is actually wild, okay. Yeah, a pretty short game. I heard 6 to 8 hours. So I finished it. I had about 3 hours on Steam before I did this last session, and this is a... Uh, even, I've been talking the menu for a while. Five hours, I'd say five hours and 27 minutes total uh, for everything. So, yep, that's it. I enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. It wasn't our typical horror game, but it was something to play. Hopefully the video has turned out okay. I don't know how it's going to do on YouTube. I don't know how the series is going to go, but um, kind of a starter for, I guess, if people say I don't play enough horror, <laughs> here you go. This is, uh, I, I think it's going to be a nice mixture of stuff coming up soon. This fall is packed, by the way. I've been playing this alongside, uh, and I, I try to not talk about other stuff I'm playing while I'm recording certain things, but just so you all know, uh, been playing a lot of the games that come out this fall already. Not the main one, God of War Ragnarok, I don't have that one yet, but mostly everything else I have, and I've been making videos like nonstop, so I really appreciate all the support you drop on my videos, um, all the likes and everything. I don't even know if likes help anymore, but I think I just like, because I, you know, you get accustomed to something where... It used to help <laughs> on YouTube. It used to help a lot. Now it's like ringing bells, subscribing. I don't know what works anymore. So I just like look at the views and hope the videos perform all right. And usually the likes are like the best thing that I kind of gauge. Like, hey, if people are enjoying this, I'll see that mostly. Um, but, you know, it's all based off of you. Uh, all the support I've had from 13 million subscribers or whatever we're at now uh, since 2010. It's just insane. I've been doing this 12 years and some change. That's just wild. Next year's lucky number 13. <laughs> it's, uh, we're getting up there because I've been doing this. So I'm 35 now and yeah, 12 years. That's a good chunk of my life. I've been making videos. If I go too long without making content, I also feel very strange, which is kind of odd. I feel like that, you know, but it is what it is. All right, love you all. I'll catch you on the flip side. I don't know when the next time we'll play a horror game is. My guess is Cluster Protocol. Uh, but for now, this is it on Scorn. I don't know if there's other achievements to get, but had fun playing this. It was a short game. I'm glad it wasn't a 16-hour game because I think I would have probably not have finished it anytime soon because I would have gotten sidetracked with other stuff. I am really blessed that it was a uh, shorter experience. Five to six hours is what I did. And I did a lot of editing with the puzzles too, so... Anyways, love you all. I'm kind of rambling. Sorry, it's 2.12 in the morning and I'm about to go to sleep. All right, love you all. Peace.